What's good, my gooners, goonerettes and gooner babies? We are here, back at it again for another reaction video. And as you can see from the background, I don't know if you can see the background, the screen right there, it is another top six. Is it top six? Is that what it's called? Yeah, the top six. Get yeah, me football terrace little community that he, um, that he, you know, that Terry's building over there. I say that he's building, it's built, you know what I'm saying? They're just getting stronger and stronger by the day. But this video here, oh my God, it's so frustrating. But I have to give it to you. I have to say it like this. There's, there's two sides. So we got a Tottenham fan who thinks with his brain. And then we got another Tottenham fan who thinks with his Arsenal hating brain. It's ridiculous. It's it's ridiculous. That's why you have to respect these men. You get me? Everyone ain't fools and everyone ain't idiots and everyone ain't just going off, oh, your stadium is next to ours, so we hate you. We're rivals. Like, no, it, no, no. Rivals are people who go for the same thing. That's what rivals are. They're fighting for the same thing. You understand me? Us and Tottenham, us gooners, get me, we are not, after this season, no matter how the season ends, doesn't worry about how the season ends, after this season, they are cancelled as our rivals, you understand me, no North London, uh, uh, nothing, we get, it's going to be London Derby, same as when we play Fulham, same as when we play any Crystal Palace, any London Derby, that's all it is, you man are not rivals, not respected that no more. Intro. Gooner on the sofa. Proud of North London, gotta represent. And I'ma tell you one thing: watching games live always brings me closer. But I would rather watch at home on my sofa. Yeah, yeah. Chance is the name. Football is the game. Gooners all day. You know that it won't change. So stay tuned in, cause the party's never over. Get it hype. This is Gooner on the sofa. Gooner on the sofa. Let's go. Real women love gooners. All right, people, so first you're going to hear is, I think his name is Savvy. Shout out to him, Spurs man. And I'm saying, as I watched this when it was live, I, I stopped watching. And I'm saying, well, I didn't stop watching. I just opened another tab, went and found him and subscribed to his channel. Uh, I ain't got no hate. I, subsub I subscribed to X's channel. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. It ain't that. You know what I mean? But... <sighs> Alright, so first you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear this guy here, and then we have a little break, cut through, and then you'll hear Patrick. Oh God! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Chelsea are the most decorated football club in England. That's a fact. I know Correct. people want to talk about. Hang on, hang on. People want to talk about Man United. Talk about Man City. Cool. Chelsea are the most decorated team in England. Right? Chelsea are going through a transition. Yeah. And, and it's fine. Let's beat them. Let's knock them while they're down. As a Spurs fan, I am so bored of knocking these teams when they're down only for them to come back and win stuff and Spurs fans not learning their lesson. We do not learn our lesson as Spurs fans. We are arrogant. We talk about these teams as though they are. Sorry, if there's any Spurs fans in the comments, you're going to hate me. Fine, hate me, right? They shouldn't hate him. He's using his brain. Get me. We are a club that don't win things. We are a club, yeah, that laugh at Chelsea where they are now, right? You can't see it, right? But Jess is busting up top right hand corner. Go and make sure you watch the full the full version of this because this won't be the full version. We're laughing at them where they are now for what? So we can finish fourth, right? And what? And what? We're saying they're not very good. What are we? We're not very good. We're just a few points better than a team in transition. We're not in transition. Just a few points better. I really think that you're overdoing it. And also as well, I don't really get what you're saying. So what are you meant to do, Sam? You're not meant to enjoy the moment. You're not meant to... Enjoy, like, but what am I enjoying what, about being a bugger? What, what am I enjoying? Because uh, they're your rivals. That's what you enjoy. You enjoy. Uh, I'm going to stop it there on Mr. They're your rivals. You're not our rivals, blood. Your rival is Wood Green FC. You understand me? Now, I said at the start, we're going to listen to one, then we're going to listen to the other. Obviously, I forgot that they actually cut and interject into each other, interrupt each other and everything, so I don't need to do that. It's just going to be one blow, one blow. But do you see what I'm saying? Get me? All right, let's be fair and balanced. You know what I'm saying? Because, yes, I am a gooner, and yes, don't like them. You understand me? But you have to have a balance. You have to think sometimes. Okay. Savvy saying, 
you can't be laughing. You can't be pointing down and laughing at man when they're down because as soon as they get up, they're gonna start winning stuff, start smacking us about, is what it is, so don't do it. Salute to that. That is a man thinking, that is a man who's been outside. That's what that is, that is a man who's been outside. If you, if you get beat up, right? If you get beat up by someone, <laughs> you get beat up by someone and then what? A couple years later or weeks later, days later, you see them get beat up. You can't laugh because you got beat up. You can't laugh, you know what I'm saying? They've been kicking man's ass all around the neighborhood for time, for years. You know what I'm saying? The one time they go down, they slip. You wanna come out the woodwork and be like, ha ah, ha, look at you. And it don't work that way because he will get up and kick your ass. That's what brother's trying to say right here. You know what I'm saying? You poking fun. There's, that, there's time for a little banter. You know what I'm saying? There's time for a little banter. Someone, a Leighton Orient fan, could have one day of poking fun at Man United. On my days, you got beat seven. Uh, one day, one. And it might not even be, excuse me, it might not even be a 24 hour thing. You can't do it for that long because who's you? What you've won, what you've done. Do you see what I'm saying? You have to know your place. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not the one who's like, ah, oh, you know, like <laughs> the guy who gets people making jokes at him left, right, center and then he sees someone else over here laughing and he turns, he's like, what are you laughing at? Because he knows he can beat that person. I'm not, it's not that, it's not that. The bottom line is, your team is dead food. You get one day, maybe, or an hour, or maybe 20 minutes after the game to be like, ha, you got beat seven nil, ha, you lost the cup, ha, you lost that final. But then, check yourself, because you don't win nothing. You're nobody. When you get to any stage where it could be a possibility, your team folds. Don't do that. Enjoy the money. Big game against Yeah, you're but doing doing better better again, the rivals. No, no, put things into context. Oh, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, AC Milan. I'm talking about actual league positioning. I'm talking about actually being better than your rivals. I'm talking about actually enjoying this moment. At the end of the day, you're... See, he's talk again, see, he's, he let that slip in. I'm talking about being better than your rivals. You are not better than your rivals, though. You know what I'm saying? You are not. Let's talk about it real. Tottenham are not better than... Who are they better than? Who are their rivals? Who are their rivals? Because it ain't us. We top of the league, so who are they talking about? It can only be down to the London derbies, right? So that's why he's saying that they're allowed to take poke fun at Chelsea. Chelsea is not Tottenham's rival. They shut you down all the time. Even when they don't have a chance of doing anything, they stop you from doing anything. You're not rivals. That's what I'm saying. Getting sucked into the old days. This is not the old days anymore. That's long gone. Long gone. It's, it's an embarrassment, right? I haven't been there. I've only been outside, yeah? To the new Tottenham Stadium. You've got the best stadium. I ain't been inside, so I have to go off what other people say. You've got the best stadium. <laughs> That's the only thing that you can, that's, the, that's all you got. You don't have nothing else. Like, nothing else, you got <laughs> Nah, bro, this is embarrassing, that's what it is. We're talking about if, and maybe. And, and the fact what is you're saying that enjoy? Chelsea, Chelsea have been dead. Again, see, you're talking about ifs, buts and maybes. There's no ifs, buts and maybes. Man United will be back. Liverpool will be back. Chelsea will be back. You, man, are not doing nothing. Now, anyway, you're gonna. They've given you two, two. I'm gonna say two World Cup winners. They've given you two. I can't even describe Conte and Jose. They're just giving you two winners, and you couldn't do nothing with them. Do you see what I'm saying? Your team is dead food, and you want to talk about ifs, buts, and maybes. There's no ifs, buts, and maybes. You lucky you part of the big six. Lucky. I even know how you part of the big six, really. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean. Patrick himself, I mean Tottenham. It's like, it's ridiculous. Everton is really the team. It's not you, man. This is a new, completely new ownership. New to, you don't know how it's going to pan out. You don't know that. This isn't Momo Bramatrice. This is a completely different thing. <laughs> See, they're all laughing at him. Because what a joke is that to say? This is new ownership from Chelsea. The man came out and spunked 600 mil like it was nothing. Like it was not, and technically he made Roman look like waste. He come in, cleared shit, 
buy a brand manager, buy this, buy that. Who are you buying? Buying them. Who are you buying? Buying them. Yes, it was stupid buying that there's no strategy to it, but he's showing out. Get me, the Chelsea owner is showing out. And them man there, them man there are jealous. They want that. They want what's happening at Chelsea. Believe that, trust. <laughs> we well, I, I, I'm, I'm not what sure you? what the jokes are. Like, I'm just, what I'm saying I, I know, what it's, it's like, it's like, The jokes are, what are you saying, Patrick? That's what the jokes are. What you're saying is the jokes. How you don't know that? From you speak, everyone laughs. What you said is a joke, blood. Straight. Making Sonny look smart. It's, it's not all about rubbish. I live by facts. I live, I live by facts, right? I, I live by facts. I've lived through so many years of this. Of I, I remember when Poch was here and we were finishing second and we were finishing third. We were above Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea, Man United, all at one, not all at the same time, but at different times. We finished above all these teams. And everyone was like, oh my God, they're in the mud. I hate that saying, by the way. They're in the mud. He's in the mud. She's in the mud. Mud, mud, mud. All these teams come back. The cream rises to the top. And you know why? Because even if Chelsea don't get it right, they will buy until they get it right. And they have bought some and same with very, us. very good footballers. Right? But when it clicks, they will be a very good team. And as a Spurs fan, I know my place. Yeah? If we are going to laugh at a team that are, what, 10 points behind us for one season... What am I enjoying about that? They're going to win something before we do. What just like, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to stop it there. Go watch the full clip. Please go and watch the full clip. Let me make sure I know what it's titled. Do you understand me? It's titled Arrogant and Broken. Tottenham destroyed by Arsenal and Chelsea Complex. Facts. Terry, facts. I don't know if you're the one who write your titles, but facts. Whoever wrote that, facts. Straight up and down. Arsenal on top, they're butt hurt. Chelsea are below them, but building. Butt hurt. But trying to, because they know they can't laugh at we. All they can do is try and bring us down. Ah, oh, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it, which is said in this as well. But I ain't going to get to that. It's just, emba you're embarrassing yourselves, man. That's the thing. If I, if I was in, I don't even want to say the dirty words. If I was a Tottenham supporter. If, if Arsenal was in their position, that's what you do. You keep your mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? You can have, again, you can have a little bit of banter. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of banter. Again, I have to bring it to the road, to real life. You're outside standing around, busting joke on each other. Ha ha ha. Your face, man. Look at your cheap jacket. You can't say that. When your clothes are cheap. You can't be taking piss out of man's clothes. What? Because his Louis Vuitton is a little stretched. And everyone who has designers is taking a mick at him. And here you come. Here you come. With your no-name clothes. <laughs> poking fun. Who's you? Who are you? You can't say nothing. Like, you get two jokes in. You know what I mean? Oh, look, your neck, your neck stretched out, bruv. You need to get new ones. Ha 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 everyone laughs, everyone laughs. But when you get too loud and everyone else is quieting down, you get too loud, you're still digging, you're still going, all that guy's gonna just turn around and be like, are you mad? To start rinsing you to the point where it's not just the man them laughing at you, it's now the girl laughing at you. And then it's come like it's real stories now. Ain't no fun, you're just telling the truth about how poor you are. Be quiet, be quiet. Quiet, just wait, build, you know what I'm saying? Because what you're proving is all you have is games. That's all you have, moments. You ain't got nothing to hold, to lift, to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? You've got nothing. It's embarrassing. That's what it is. It's embarrassing. And I feel bad for you to the point where while watching this, I was there. Sending for him because he was chatting fart. Everyone in the chat was sending for him because he was chatting fart. You know what I'm saying? Then it moved on to a Liverpool thing. Sonny was chatting fart. And then I can't lie. They chatted fart so much. I started to feel bad. 
I started to feel bad. Just like this situation now with Tottenham, I feel bad for them. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know they're not rivals. Because I wouldn't feel bad for a rival. You know what I'm saying? When City lose, I don't feel bad. When they, when they mess up, when they don't win Champions League, I don't feel bad. You know what I mean? I don't feel bad. It's ridiculous, bruv. Also, another thing. Sorry, Patrick, bruv. Sorry. Sorry, King. But this is just, this is just a personal thing for me because it might be a thing that other football supporters and fans do. Never in life will you see me say the words, I'm backing, I'm supporting such and such. When Liverpool and Tottenham were in the Champions League final, you think I'm back in Liverpool? Are you mad? Are you insane? They're both the enemy. I'm not backing you. I just sit there and watch. You know what I'm saying? Sit there and watch. Watched. Tottenham lost. Of course they did. Done. Wrap it up. Move on. No problem. I will never back them. Never. If they were the last game of the season for City, right? And if we got our last game of the season, Arsenal better double up because I'm not backing them, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though they seem to be the bogey team for City, I'm not backing them. I would never say it. Never. Never. That makes, it makes no sense to me. But man like Patrick, he happy to back the team that's going against Arsenal. He's happy to back them. And that scares me, guys. That scares me. But listen, I'm out of here. Stay good. Stay blessed. Make sure you go and watch the full, the full version that I beg you, please go watch the full version of that. It's going to kill you. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. Big up, Savvy. I hope I'm saying your name right. Big you up. I've already subscribed to your channel, bruv. Nothing but love because you think. You understand? You think. I'm sure you got banter. I'm sure you got banter for Arsenal. You know what I'm saying? But you think. You think and I like that. Same with Terry. Terry's the thinker. He's a Man United guy, but he's a Thinker, respect that. You know what I'm saying? I respect that. Always. You know what I mean? Big up um Colleen and Jess. They held it down. They held it down for the A. They held it down. Salute to both of them. Jess knows what she's talking about. Colleen knows what she's talking about. Appreciate them both. Love is love. I'm out of there. People don't forget to like, subscribe, all that goody goody. See ya. Oh. G O T S. Gang gang. Go on. Woo! Tune us all day, you know that it won't change. So stay tuned in, cause the party's never over. Get it hype, this is Gooner on the sofa.